Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a haul. I will be doing a White Barn, um, Ulta, and MAC haul. And so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, first of all with the room sprays that I got from White Barn. I got these two room sprays in the scent A Thousand Wishes, which I love this. I also have the water melon lemonade candle which i really really do love so i decided to get the room spray because this is one of my favorite scents uh and white barn is actually like uh sister companies with bath and body works so yeah um i got a travel size shampoo and conditioner by the brand amica they had a straightener long long time ago and I bought their straightener and I actually really really liked it but it only lasted for one year so I'm kind of happy that they came out now with some new uh, products and I went to Ulta and I got this Hemp's uh, Wild Blueberry Yogurt Scrub I love using scrubs for my feet uh, because I just feel like they just make them really really soft so I really like that and it's blueberries I love blueberries what I mean when I say natural fragrance is the actual, like, fragrance of the oil, so nothing synthetic. I like a natural fragrance that is just pure and it smells very, like, earthy. I like that. I also got this Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I absolutely love this for my arms and my legs because I do have keratosis pilaris on my arms and legs so I also like using fragrance free lotions or oils, body oils. It says that it helps hydrate dry parched skin, relieve minor irritation due to eczema and other conditions which is what I have because I have psoriasis and keratosis pilaris that's why I love this. You can also use this for the face and elsewhere so it's face and body cream it was like twenty dollars thirty dollars which is so inexpensive for such a big tub it's also no parabens harsh chemicals or colorants free i got this uh perfume by paco rabanne it's the olympia perfume i love this perfume it smells like just fruit punch. It smells like sweet fruit punch. It smells like all the flavors combined together to this magical little potion thing here. I really like this. Let's move on to MAC now. I got a lot of things for MAC. I really appreciate this company as an artist because I feel like they really know and understand our needs. So first of all, I was running low on my Fix Plus, so I got another one. I really like this because I have dry skin and my face sometimes I get dry patches. So I like to combine this into my skincare regimen. I spray myself everywhere with the Fix Plus before I apply my foundation. And I feel like afterwards my foundation just glides on. And in this video, you guys are going to find out how much I love the peach color. I think peaches are just great. I am so happy that Too Faced came out with that peach palette and they expanded the peach collection. I actually got every single thing because I am just obsessed with the color peach. I don't even care. I'm just obsessed with peach and peaches. So I got the Peach Light Strobe Cream. I really like this cream because I like to mix it either with my foundation or I like to use it as a primer or a moisturizer. I like to sometimes even combine this uh, primer with my foundation to give it a very luminous glow. I used to use this a lot uh, when I used to freelance for them. I also got the Peaches Blush, which I absolutely adore because it's just such a cute color and it's just a staple to have in your collection, I feel like. So this is what it looks like. It's just such a beautiful peach color. I also got this lip scrub in the flavor Candid Nectar and I absolutely love this. I think it's great and at a great price. And it also smells awesome. 
Now let's move on to the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. I got this in the shade Medium. I use this powder to set my under eye. I love this powder especially because I have dry skin like I've mentioned before or any of you guys think the Laura Mercier or anything like that is drying you out. I really recommend you to try this powder. I think it's very gentle on sensitive skin as well. I got the concealer NW25. I just needed to restock on this one. It's one of my favorite concealers because I feel like it doesn't crease. And also I use the NW to correct uh, because of that pink undertone. I got five brushes. Four of them are dual fiber and then one of them is just like a regular brush. So I got these brushes. I absolutely love, love, love these. When I would do makeup on clients, I loved using these. I feel like the 224 brush, which is the blending brush I believe, just the regular original blending brush. I feel like sometimes that tends to be a little bit scratchy on the eyelid, so I do like to use this duo fiber for the crease, and this is a 286 brush. So let me move to another brush. This is the 287 duo fiber brush. I like to use this to blend out concealer or to apply highlighter on the brow bone. I think it's such a good brush. It just blends concealer very nicely. And I got the bigger size of the 287. This is the 132 Duo Fiber Brush. Cream highlighter, you can blend out your foundation with this. It applies a very nice and even coat. Uh, or I like to use this to apply highlighters, powder highlighters. And I bought the 130 Duo Fiber Brush, short Duo Fiber Brush. I really like this to apply foundation. I think it does a very nice job. I like to apply a cream bronzer with it. I think it distributes the product very nicely and it buffs it out really, really nice. So that's why I like a shorter dual fiber brush. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and also like my video, share it. And yes, until next time guys, see you. And cut!